currently you know cement industry is producing around 7% of the carbon in the total uh, scenario of carbon dioxide so we have great responsibility to reduce this carbon monoxide carbon dioxide for the saving the life of the people and saving sustainability aspects so in that aspects uh, it becomes our moral duty to come to carbon zero so many companies have uh, decided to take uh, steps to reduce the carbon to zero by 2050 or uh, beyond so our um, technological thrust now kc thrust is how we can uh, achieve this target of uh, cement beyond carbon because cement will be required for the growth of the countries for construction material and infrastructure so we have to find methods how we can uh, come to net zero or below zero okay. the conventional method of carbon reduction uh, are which are present up to now are blended cement where clinker use is very uh, less as compared to fly ash and slag and uh, there is uh, another um, uh, technology whr waste heat recovery where india is now um, achieving um, uh, bigger and bigger targets in all the plants uh, whr waste heat recovery system will be there and there is alternate fuel in alternate fuel we have started progressing we were at very low level 4% earlier now we are almost 7% and uh, we have to achieve this figure as per world standard 35 plus but beyond that uh, this will not lead us to uh, total carbon reduction beyond that there are uh, research is going on new technologies how we can uh, take out carbon dioxide from the exit gases of the system okay. and how we can increase the efficiency how we can go for the oxy fuel or electrification of the kiln all these technologies are on different stages of development and uh, uh, in my view after 2030 the technologies will become economically viable okay. we are as a machinery supplier we are supplying afr machinery one equipment which we are proud of is pyro rotor where we can uh, even feed 85% of the uh, pyro clone fuel uh, alternate fuel which is not possible by conventional method of feeding in the calciner so that replaces the but high quantity of fuel right. that is one development and on uh, nox side we have uh, uh, another equipment uh, which reduces the nox uh, consumption nox generation in the system so these uh, technologies are with, with us the third technology is on order optimization of the system optimization when we say it is more of digitization of the whole uh, uh, process and then optimizing it so we have probax is the solution for that we have unfolded uh, areas like afr afr area we have unfolded technology is available only thing is how we can Uh, prepare the afr there many agencies come into picture even government agencies also come into picture a, the afr collection should be uh, in a proper manner in the three different boxes uh, bio waste and uh, the other waste so that system still uh, india has to progress in terms of collection of the waste collection and then uh, preparing it for the feeding to the kiln and uh, of course distances are involved so there uh, i think is, um, industry has progressed a lot but uh, when we it comes to total logistic arrangement right from uh, generation of uh, waste and uh, utilization still lot of progress has to be done in some cities people have done lot of progress like in dor or in bangalore or in some cities but it has to become a uh, sort of a common practice in all the cities 